Hello guys and welcome to another Clio video. I'm having to do an intro sort of for this video before the video starts because I completely, sort of completely forgot to explain the sort of process really. The um, whole reason for that is because I was doing it in the evenings over sort of a few days. It does, it does take sort of a few days to do. Um, but yes, today we're going to be spraying my bullets and sort of creating a new front badge, kind of like a funky one um, with sort of different colours, etc, etc. Um, the stuff you need for uh, sort of this sort of easy sort of spray of plastic, I've got two sets of sandpaper, both from Halfords, 400 medium grit, 2500 grit, which is really, really fine, but I also have a 1200 grit as well. Um, the 400 is for the sort of the initial sanding, um, but then I go over it with the 1200 grit as well, um, just to sort of make it so it's nice and smooth, but also the paint has something to bite to. The paint I use is satin black, also from Halfords, and the clear lacquer. Um, you don't need any primer, um, because obviously it is a plastic part, you only need primer for metal. All right, if you are ever spraying anything in metal, make sure you use, as probably, I normally do once again, three sort of coats of primer, five coats of paint, uh, and then another free of lacquer but that's what i would do it all depends it all varies um, i've also got my red paint which is what i'm using as well which is also from Alfred's, which is going to complete that which you're going to see at the end of the video because i've just got a sort of red slash black front badge um 2500 grit is for after spraying so once i've done my five coats black i'm going to be sort of um sort of rubbing it over very gently it is wet and wet and dry sandpaper so it will be wet all right so you just wet the sandpaper just so it's not as rough so you shouldn't affect the paint too much don't press too hard just give it a good rub over again before you put the three coats of lacquer on um so that is nice and easy should be done in a couple of days but yeah welcome to the video we're gonna get straight into it what i'm doing today is i'm hopefully going to clean uh, my side bullets up and maybe just paint them black but i want red writing so we're going to try and make the writing red as well with red paint if not i've had a few ideas on here um just to get the other bullets smooth them out um, and then put some red stickers on after the black paint so i may end up doing that i don't really know um, but first of all obviously we've got to get them off the main reason for me doing this is that all my you know my real carbon fiber on here is uh peeling off and it's all looking a little bit rubbish don't judge my car i know it's very dirty but she gets a bit sort of used and abused at the moment so all you need is a flat and a cloth um i'm not really going to be able to show you too well because i'm just going to have time to get all my stuff out to make it steady but i'm going to put obviously just a flat head's going to go underneath there with the cloth you've got two clips this side and you've got one clip towards the front um and you just yeah you just got to lever him off so i'm going to try and set up the camera so you can see probably going to be on my foot and hopefully it'll stay there. So I always just wrap that flathead in the cloth, push them underneath. These clips are really easy to break, so I wouldn't be surprised if I break it, to be fair. But try and use your fingers as well, and there's one. And there we are. Did we break any? Two at the back, which I didn't break, are still intact. And the one at the front is still intact as well, and that's what it looks like. Um, just after so obviously I can give this clean I do need to give this clean as well because um, I'm going to be painting it and it's really hard to get the hydro dip off so please don't judge me on my methods it's going to be a very quick sort of fix and if not I'd rather just buy a new set for 10 15 quid than spend my life trying to get this hydro dip off I think there's different chemicals in that you can use um, but there we are I'm just going to scratch it and hopefully not mess it up too much so pretty much just use some sandpaper or whatever you can to get it off um, and make sure it's nice and smooth um, but we'll jump to that point now because like i said we're running out of daylight so this is my little workstation please don't judge well obviously when you're spray paint you need to be inside in a cool dry place but this is about as inside as i'll get um just wanted to show you the red badge i sprayed the other day it does look cool i'm actually going to put it on my car in a minute and see sort of how it looks but there's a little blemish there you can see but other than that, it won't, didn't go too bad for an old badge. Um, I've scratched up one. I know it looks horrendous. Um, I just need to do a little bit more on it before I start spraying. Um, mm -hmm. The other one is just up there with a bit of super glue on it. So I will actually show you this badge now because um, I did break the clip. One of them on the other side. So just do be careful of taking yours off. I think the red badge is a little bit too much. So this is the, obviously the black badge is a little bit dark again, but just a comparison. And it should just pop on if I put them on the wrong way. <laughs> That's way too much. <laughs> and then... That's a red badge. Too much, don't you think? I think. It might have been cool if I could maybe do some pattern with it, but... I think the red on the black stands out a little bit too much. Unless I had more red accents, the same would be some red. 
brake calipers or other red diamonds, but that's a little bit too crazy. <laughs> Just like that. So we're gonna go back to the bullets. We shall carry on. Good old rattle cans, eh? I feel the pressure. Easy. It's like a little coat like that, I actually missed a bit down there, but don't worry if you miss things. If you try and go over it too much, it'll just make it look crap and it'll start running. So I'm gonna leave them now for 30, 45 minutes and then we'll come back and have a look. And a whole 40 minutes later, it is pitch black. Yay for winter. Not quite sure how this red paint scenario is going to work, so I might just end up leaving these black and doing what that other. What one of the comments said is just get a set black, just put some black, uh, put some red stickers on them, and then spray some lacquer over the top because yeah, it's going to be a little bit fiddly. I might get a little paintbrush or something like that, but there we go. I think that's too fiddly. But in the end, I did about four coats. I think it was um, last night, and as you can see, I've now got my hair cut, so I look a little bit better. Um, but this is sort of. The end result, as you can see, it's a little bit lumpy around the two. Where well, my sanding job wasn't very good, but I don't think I'm going to bother trying to get the right and red because maybe I should have done it the other way around. Maybe I should have sprayed the whole thing red, then masked and taped over the numbers, or maybe the other way around, but I don't feel like it's worth the effort. Uh, so I might just do what that um, other guy said on the comments and just get one and smooth all the way out and just get a sticker instead and then lacquer over that but I'm just going to keep these black for now they look a lot better than they did uh, with that rubbish uh, hydro dip on that was peeling off ever so slowly so at least they're going to look a little bit better but exactly the same thing put a coat on wait 30 minutes and do it again um, but my car looks weird without them on so I want to get them back on and with my red, bar, with my red badge I've actually put some uh, duct tape on the bits that I want to keep red I don't know if it's going to look rubbish or all right or how it's going to go but i didn't want a red badge because i thought it looked a bit yeah it was a bit much for the front so what i'm going to do i'm going to sort of sand it down and spray it around and i have some red red bits on the badge rather than fully red and see what that looks like but if you could tell i just love sort of uh playing with the spray paint so we're just going to do that now we're going to put a couple of coats of lacquer on that and then spray this give it a couple of coats of black but we shall see in my makeshift paint area uh, so obviously with the bullets themselves, I left them overnight because you're supposed to leave it for, I think, I don't have to leave it overnight, I think you've got to leave it for about five hours for the paint to sort of completely. Then you're supposed to get some sandpaper, in, well, wet, use the wet and dry um, and go over it so the lacquer has actually something to stick to. Um, after I've used that, obviously clean it off and make sure it's dry. I use a hairdryer just so I know because um, I'm a little bit lazy and kept off the weight or or sort of dry it up too like, amazingly so I just use the hairdryer uh, and then we'll make them look pretty and same process with the red one obviously I need to give it a little bit of a, uh, more of a sand and then I'm just gonna wash and dry it and off we go really rubbish light again but first coat of lacquer is done now to spray the black on this baby but try not to mix <laughs> so finally I'm gonna finish off this video um, I know it is loads of bits and pieces there's not really anything but i've only really had evenings to do stuff so uh with the bullets themselves i put one back on already um that on that side and this is the one still to go on obviously they look a lot cleaner there's a few imperfections as you can see around the right here and there but i'm not massively bothered i know there's chemicals and things you can get to get the hydro dip off but i tried to sand like mad it didn't work amazingly but it looks a lot better for now um, than what I did before. So I'm going to pop this back on. This one here is the one with the broken clip, which now has got a bit of paper on everything, but lots of glue. So hopefully it just stays together, it goes on and doesn't fall off or anything like that. Um, and I've also got the badge as well, but I just need to pop it back on. So yeah, try not to break your clips and then you don't have this nightmare, but my dirty car. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Oh, that sounded healthy. Sound like I got a bit of a crack again, but as long as it stays there, we're all good. I am going to clean a bit clean now, but you see me clean my car about 3,000 times, and that's Bradley making loads of noise coming home. But yeah, now my bullets are done. Looks like Bradley's also been doing a slight 
bit of rallying. There's grass everywhere. And <laughs> grass it is. Oh yeah. Why not? 197 rally car. Anyway, coming to the barge. She is. They even have some scratches on it now. It's all resy. But I'm just going to check the paint underneath first to see what it looks like. I don't know if it's going to look rubbish, but I've got some like red paint in between. But I'm going to peel it off now, all off now, and show you so you can see where the tape is on the inside. But I'll peel it off and we will see what it looks like. Ooh, might have worked quite well. Better than I thought it was going to. Oh no, I think I'm going to want to get rid of that little scratch now. I'm not putting this tape on again because it was a pain in the ass the first time. I don't know if I could do it while you. That's kind of the first bit, and that's what the bottom gets going to look like as well. So I've got a kind of like a red inside, and then a red stripe and a red stripe. I just thought it looked quite cool just to do something different with this spare badge that I've got. This this badge doesn't clip on as, e uh, as easy, well, as securely either. So this one's quite easy to pull off. Which I know is probably not the greatest feature to have on your car. But... There's a few little bits of black paint that have crept in. But... Overall, <laughs> it looks pretty decent. Except for that, oh, the bottom bit hasn't gone as well. But I think it looks quite cool. Except for that, whatever's gone on there. But for using some electrical tape, I think that's quite snazzy. Should we put it on? Both my front badges are getting a bit weak, so they should just both pull off by hand. Yeah. Oh, all right. That kind of looks quite funky. Something a bit different. Might put some lacquer on it and stick it on there. I like it. So that's it for today's video. I'm sorry it was a bit random, a bit all over the place as well. I was covering about sort of three, four days in the end. I um, hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, it's very simple to spray your plastic parts. Just make sure you kind of do at least a half decent job. If it's a hydrodip part, I'd hardly sort of recommend looking up and the chemicals you can use to get rid of the hydrodip first and then sand it. Um, but yeah, once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Cheers.